Hey, good morning Facebook. Attorney Tim Anderson, February 25th, 2020. So this video is going to talk about the real ID requirements in Virginia and wh whether or not you need them or not. And there's a lot of confusion about, about this. I wanted to take five minutes to break this down. So the current driver's license that you have in your wallet uh, is a fake ID. <laughs> I'm joking, but essentially it's not a real ID. The difference between your current driver's license and a real ID is the real ID will have a star in the upper, upper right hand corner of the ID. It looks exactly the same. It has all of your information on it. It just has the star in the upper right hand corner. Now, if you've renewed your license recently and it says federal limits in the upper right hand corner, you do not have a real ID. So do you need a real ID or not? And here's the, here's the real truth of the, of the answer. Are you going to fly commercially on an airplane at any time uh, after October 1st, 2020? If you are going to fly on a commercial airplane, you will not be able to get through TSA without having a real ID. Now, you can get a real ID by getting one from the DMV, um, or you can also have other enhanced ID cards like your U.S. passport, uh, if you have a permanent resident card, if you have a global entry card, you'll be able to use one of those to be able to still travel. So if you anticipate that you will ever fly again <clears throat> commercially, you will have to have an enhanced ID to be able to get through TSA after October 1st. If you never intend to fly commercially, you don't need a real ID. Now, the other thing you may need a real ID for is to be able to get onto military bases. Uh, currently, there's there's been nothing that I know of, at least in Hampton Roads, that's going to require real IDs to get onto uh, military bases, but that is likely going to change. So if you do any business uh, at a military base, you are going to want to get a real ID. So how do you get a real ID? It's basically something you get from the Virginia DMV. And what you have to do is you have to go to the DMV and you have to prove certain things. You have to prove your citizenship, you have to prove your social security number, and you have to prove your residency. So I just did that this morning and let me tell you uh, what I brought. I brought my US passport, I brought my W-2, and I brought a utility bill showing my current address. Those three documents, along with my Virginia fake ID, <laughs> my Virginia driver's license, uh, was allowed to, uh, were the acceptable documents that I needed to support the real identity requirements. Now, there are other ways that you can get, um, you know, do, there's other documents and those are all listed on the Virginia DMV's website. But I did want to, uh, like you can bring a birth certificate, for instance, and so forth. But I do want to point this out. And this is something I really want uh, to share with you because it saved me a ton of time in the DMV today. Uh, so you can go online. I'm going to flip my screen here. And you can go online to the Virginia DMV's website. And uh, you have to log in. So you have to have your credentials with the DMV. And if you don't, uh, you you can get those, but you need to log in to the DMV, and then you need to go to this link right here, which is the Real ID link. All right, and um, by doing that, uh, you can uh, you click this Get Started button, and then you can log in here, and you can get your you can put this information in, and what that does is that pre fills out the application with the Virginia DMV, and then when you get to the DMV they give you a priority uh, number. Now, I got to the DMV today, there was a line wrapped around the building, it took me like 30 minutes to get inside. I went right up to the counter, I showed her my, my documents, and she gave me a priority number, and I was able to get uh, to see a clerk within like three minutes. I mean, I didn't even have time to sit down. They said, you know, P184, get up here. And I was able to do that. So if you're going to get a real, uh, real ID, you will save yourself tons of time if you log into the DMV site and pre-register and do it online. So just keep in mind, you'll have to verify your social security number, which you can do with your social security card or your um, W-2. You have to verify your U.S. citizenship, which you can do with a passport or your um, birth certificate. 
And you also have to identify where you live, which you can do with a utility bill, like a Dominion Power Bill, or a mortgage statement, or uh, there's a, a variety of other things. And when you go online and you do this, you can pick what you're going to bring so that you know exactly what you have. One other little trick is you cannot bring copies. So you have to bring originals of the documents. So make sure that you do that. So like your Virginia Dominion Power Bill, it has to be the original bill. It can't be a photocopy of it. So make sure you bring that. They want those to be original. So once you do all that, it's going to cost you $30 to get your real ID. It does not extend the driver's license period. They will retake your picture. Uh, and then when it's time for your license to expire, you will have to renew it. And uh, I believe it's just the standard renewal rates and fees to do that. So you got to do it if you intend on flying. If you don't have a passport or like a global entry card or a permanent resident card or the other acceptable documents. Now, if you are interested in uh, what uh, ways to fly without getting a real ID, here is the, in the entire list here. Um, that of everything that would be acceptable to um, to be able to fly. All right, so that that helps, and that hope that separates facts from fiction. If you have no intention of flying, there's no reason to go to the DMV. Just keep your your license until it's ready to expire. And uh, if you don't ever want to fly when it does expire, you can just renew it normally without going through all these enhanced provisions. And then you're going to get something that says federal limits in the top right hand corner. All right, guys, have a good day.